And so what has happened now? What we're finding out now is that this song, this YMCA song that I've been dancing to at all my rallies, my people are telling me now that that is a gay song. What I mean to say is that it's some sort of an anthem like a gay anthem or something for the uh, for the gay, the uh, the the uh, the gay movement or whatever it is. See, I met these guys back in the 80s when I was going to Studio 54 and I was snorting like an incredible amount of cocaine. I won't lie. And I just always loved to dance to that song with my shirt off, you know, with with, with my rippled torso glistening with sweat. And, you know, I would do a bump with that guy who was dressed like the Indian and the construction worker guy. They seemed to really, really like me a lot. So, you know, I always like the people who like me. I'm friendly. And so we would all do the bump there in, in the restroom of the Studio 54 in the stall so no one could see. And, you know, then like the cowboy of the group would come in and he'd say, hey, can I have some? And I'd say, sure, man, here, have a toot. But by then it was getting real crowded in the stall with all these village people, guys sort of, you know, pressing up against me, all sweaty with big smiles on their faces. And it was hot. What I mean to say was that it was very hot and stifling in the stall because it was so crowded in there. And so I'd go out and dance. I danced to this YMCA song that these guys would play. And let me tell you, I would really, really tear up that dance floor at the Studio 54 to this song. You know that phrase, dance like nobody's watching? Well, I was dancing just like that with complete abandon to this YMCA song with everybody watching me. And I would do these moves like the John Travolta, like John Travolta in that Saturday Night Live movie that they did where he's dancing alone on the dance floor with all the people watching. And let me tell you, their jaws just about hit the floor. You know, they were completely amazed at all of the fantastic dance moves I was doing to this YMCA. It was hands over mouths in disbelief, utter disbelief that I was such an incredible dancer. They would laugh with joy. It made them so happy. And then after getting all sweaty, I would run to the toilet and comb my hair and do another bump with the village people. I, I guess you could say I was kind of a dancing fool. I love to dance and they love me to dance. One night at the Studio 54, I was at the bar with one of these guys from the village people. I guess he dresses up as the Indian character that he does. And, you know, it's a cute outfit. It's a cute idea that they got with all these funny um, characters that they do. And I was letting him know that. And I think that his name was Felipe. I, I think it was anyway. So after a couple of minutes, Felipe asked me, he says, so, Donald, I've been meaning to ask you something. He said, are you gay? And I remember I I just looked down at my uh, diet coke. You know, I don't drink. And I said, no, no, Felipe, no. I only like women, Felipe. I really don't think I have a gay bone in my body. And and then I remember and. Um, I remember Felipe laughed and he said, well, if you ever want a gay bone in your body, give me a call. And I never really could figure out what uh, what Felipe meant by that. Was he saying that he was going to, you know, if I needed a bone marrow transplant, that Felipe was saying that he knew a guy that was gay who was willing to be a donor in case I needed a bone marrow transplant? I could never really figure it out. I guess I must have shot him a look or something. And after that point, it was like Felipe was different to me. It was like, you know, that term they say he has attitude, I guess you could call it. I guess he was like that with me. But then Felipe gave me a wonderful gift. You know, Felipe is half Puerto Rican. This is wonderful. Felipe taught me how to say my name, Donald Trump, in Puerto Rican. Isn't that wonderful? He told me that in his language, that the name Donald translate to Ben, you know, like Ben Kenobi. But that if you are a great and important man with that name in his country, that you actually pronounce it Pen. Isn't that interesting? You know, like when I was the president and that guy was talking at the White House about how he was a COVID first responder and how hard it was that he had watched so many people die and how sad his friends had died. But I wasn't paying any attention because I was trying to give all the people there who were trying to listen to him a free pen. So Donald actually translates to pen and that the name Trump translates to Dejo. So Pendejo, that's me. I am Pendejo. And now it's just so wonderful that I can speak Puerto Rican 
whenever I see a Spanish waiter bringing me food or, you know, a Latino construction worker, like that construction worker in the village people. Whenever I go to a Latin country and they say to me, welcome, Mr. Trump, I tell them, no, no, no. I am not Donald Trump here. Here I am Pendejo. I am Pendejo. It is so great. And they love this. They love this so much that I can speak their language just like Felipe taught me. They laugh and laugh and laugh with complete joy. You should see the joy on their faces. Tears, tears of joy. Uh, and now everywhere I go, if I am ever meeting with the president of Mexico or, you know, tossing rolls of bounty paper towels to drowning Puerto Ricans from the hurricane as I walk their streets, they shake their heads in awe and they look at me and they say, uh, Pendejo. And I say to them, yes, yes, I am Pendejo. I speak the language of your people. Yes, Pekka Badi, uh, Pendejo. They love it. I say to them, I am Donald Trump. Uh, yes, I'm, but I'm also Pendejo. So there you go. So anyways, but these guys were gay. It turned out, who knew? I mean, what the hell does the YMCA have to do with being gay, for Christ's sakes? Isn't it some sort of health club or something? Jesus Christ. Who knew that these guys were gay? They all must have been keeping it hidden, I guess. I don't know. Like they were in the closet or something. And then suddenly, in 2024, it all comes out. So, okay, we're going with another song at our rallies instead of that gay song that they did. We bought the rights to the song. It really gets the crowd going, gets them pumped up, and you're going to love to know what it is. They play it at sporting events. It has nothing to do with the gay. Are you ready? It's called We Are the Champions. Isn't that great? We Are the Champions? Yeah. Um, and it's by this great, great singer. And um, he is just so great. It's just, I had never, ever heard of this guy before. I'm trying to remember his name. It was... It was um, something to do with one of the planets. I don't know. Freddie something.